Well, let's have uh, some fun with an intercept here. I am uh, looking to conduct an assault with that Alpine unit there against these two units in this hex in an effort to break through to Narvik. That's probably a little ambitious uh, of an attack, but we're, we're trying to use a bunch of air to support the combat. And <clears throat> until I get a port in place that's able and, and shipping available to drop off uh, a full division up in this area, this is what we got to work with. Uh, keep in mind, I do have other units I can use or drop into place at some point. But in the meantime, we're going to try and support this attack. But in order to do that, I've got to run the gauntlet of the air superiority, air superiority area, which includes uh, just one of the uh, Swedish air units. They're not officially in the war, but they've uh, hinted they, they'd like to get involved. Now, keep in mind, this is actually interesting, and I, now I'm just remembering right now, in fact, uh, if we conduct combat against these guys and in fact I think we didn't do it last turn so that was uh, last uh, for the air superiority actually uh, but um, if we conduct combat that's going to put us at war with the Swedes and that's uh, that's an interesting problem actually hmm I'm going to pause the camera for a minute here I need to I need to reconsider what I want to do here you know what I think it's going to be okay uh, here's, here's how I'm, I'm going to handle this. If, if the Soviet attacks this guy, Sweden enters the war. And I don't know we want to do that at this point. So the easiest thing for me to do here is to abort, which will force him to abort as well. And that's still going to leave me three to one here. So that's what we're going to do. And that also will uh, mean that uh, this Swedish chap will not get a chance to... Uh, participate in the interception so it's the uh, caution is the better part of valor here uh, so so both these guys will abort so we're just going to push them off to one side and now that leaves these three guys now <clears throat> what we want to do the escorts are going to attack they have to attack first I'm just going to roll three dice and then we'll work out each of the combats and unfortunately I've got this this die this is the evil die that's rolling a lot of 20s I'm going to roll this one time <clears throat> if it rolls a 20 we're not going to use it all right, roll the 10. That's uh, the first number under 15. It's rolled in a week. All right, uh, so three dice. Uh, so we got a 17. We got a six. And then I'm going to get uh, I need another d20. All very hard to read. Actually, that blue die is really hard to read. Okay, so let's uh, let's run through the combat and work out how this works. Uh, I'm having a little brain fart at the moment, but we'll work it out. Uh, my combat value versus the defense means this is going to be a, an attack on the minus three. Six minus nine is minus three. Uh, we're going to adjust the die roll, uh, this six number here, by. Uh, NATO AWACS, which is uh, in that area, that's going to uh, bump it down two more, so that's going to make it a four. There's no d uh, WP wax. Uh, there is, no, I guess, the and the ECM is there for the WP, so that's going to uh, make that a five now. They've got numerical superiority, that's going to make it a seven. They have to have two to one or better. I think they have to have two to one or better, so it's still going to be a so we're still at five. Oh, air superiority in escort. Um, hmm. Is it the same? Double or more. So it is double or more. It's three to one. Ding dong. Uh, so that's going to be a, a one. So that'll make it a five. Now, pilot skill, the UK, is a two. And Soviet pilots are a two as well. So no change there. I think we go, that's it, right? So that makes, what did I say that was? Did I say five? Obviously, it's a mess, right? We need 13, 14 to force an abort. But this attack, this attack's gonna do it for us, right? Uh, 17 on a minus three. 
because it's the same type of aircraft, I believe, yeah, on a minus three, uh, with um, five more, is actually gonna put a step loss and an abort, and so this guy will abort. Now, you know, looking at these, uh, looking at the number of attacks that were gonna happen here, this guy probably would have chosen to abort anyway. I was hoping that the, as the, uh, as the uh, allied or the NATO player, I probably would be hoping that the forces available were not as substantial, and that would have given us a chance to pass through. So, it, what, so here's what could have happened. Let's say that there weren't any of these uh, chaps here, and they all uh, that the, the flight went in, or let's say there were a couple, <clears throat> and I survived this uh, this combat without any damage. I can choose to evade. I'm not going to fight back uh, because if I fight back, then I'm going to miss getting in on the strike aircraft. So I can choose to evade. So I go over to this uh, column over here, this sort of table here, and I put my aircraft down. And then we go through the combat here, right? And uh, and I get to attack the strike craft versus the uh, escort craft. And so that would have been an 11 versus an 8, which is a 3. It would have been a plus 3 on the plus 3 table. Here's the plus 3 table. Sorry, you couldn't see the, uh, there's the minus three table there. I was zoomed in too close. Uh, so that would be, that would be uh, still, uh, for these guys attacking, they would get, we'd roll a die, yeah, roll a four, so nothing exciting is gonna happen with that. It'd be a four, a wash for pilots. Uh, it doesn't have numeric superiority. Uh, that's probably going to drop it down by one. Uh, so that would be minus one. That'd make it a three. Yeah. Uh, no ECM uh, and the up two for the wax. So that'd make it a five. A five would force no effect, would be a no effect on the table. So we need to roll a five or better net to push one of these guys to a board which then of course would change the, the odds for the upcoming attack. But in this case, the Brits uh, dis would probably decide to uh, abort here, just given the odds that they're, they're facing there. And we would uh, consider it a opportunity to fight on another day. Anyway, I thought I'd just give a quick little look at how the, the, you know, the air war works. It's really pretty straightforward stuff. Uh, there's a little, just, four or five different modifiers and you know you, you either have AWACS or you don't uh, you have ECM or you don't and you have air superiority or you don't and they're the only modifiers that you have to really worry about other than pilot skill which you know it's pretty straightforward 99% you know, of the pilots are, are Soviet anyway all right that was a quick little air, uh, air intercept, air uh, bombing strike uh, mission. Now, of course, when this mission goes in, all these, uh, this air group of three units is going to have to face flak coming from that particular hex that they, they want to attack. And it'll be a flak on the D table, which is the worst table available. Uh, so they've got a good chance of getting their, uh, their strike in to support the Alpine Seventh Guards attack. Talk to you soon. And by the way, I guess I probably should say it's Deadly Northern Lights, just for Dan Pelkaldi, so he doesn't, you know, have an aneurysm or something. Talk to you soon. Bye.